Good evening. Welcome um, to our festivities tonight. Um, my name is Teddy Cochran and I'm a board member here at the Clear Creek Community Theater and I wanted to uh, uh, wanted you to um, join in our festivities here. We are celebrating the opening night of Dracula. It is running through November 2nd and we're so excited. Dracula is the second show of our 50th anniversary season. We are going on, we have, we have five more productions and we are going strong. Uh, we've had some really good feedback from some of our patrons tonight and I'd like to take you out and introduce you to some of them so you can uh, see what some of the, what Dracula is actually about. So why don't we take a walk? As you can see, we are having a party tonight. Everybody, did you like Dracula? Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. We have several of our friends here tonight that are usually join us for opening nights. Uh, they're our season ticket holders, and we're very, very thankful for them. So what did y'all think about the show tonight? Dracula without being scared. Very good. Very good. Dracula is perfect for the Halloween season. So I know that the coffin, we all need a coffin sitting around in our living room, don't we? And um, I'd like to uh, introduce you to our director. I'll be looking for her as we go through the crowd a little bit more. Uh, Max, why don't you come on over here? Max is one of our actors here, and he was Jonathan Harker in the uh, the show tonight. How'd I do? I, I think you did great. You played crazy real well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been practicing my entire life for crazy. Oh, I do it every day. So, so good, good job. I, I spotted it. So, did you enjoy? Uh, did you enjoy the show? It's a little bit different from some of your past roles. It was a little different. Uh, previously, I played Voldemort, so you know it's it's a little different. Um, singing and dancing Voldemort. Singing and dancing Voldemort. No, tonight went pretty well as far as opening night goes, and uh, so far I think everyone's enjoyed it. Uh, yes, um, you could not hear a pin drop. Well, you could hear a pin drop. It was so quiet. Everybody was on pins and needles. Good. Good. On the edge of their seat, I hope. Uh, definitely. I didn't even hear any seats move. They weren't even moving at all. So that is always a good sign. Good to hear. Good to hear. And we have Jonathan's Mina here. Hi. Hello. What's and up? So I just, what did you think of this whole six weeks giving up your life for this production? It was actually wonderful. It was so much fun. And since my sister is in the show, she plays Lucy. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had so much fun with it. And we got to spend time together. So it was a lot more like, it becomes kind of like a home. Because you essentially move in for those yes. weeks. Well, you know, I've, I've heard it said that we're, we're more of a family around here than, than definitely. definitely coming in and giving up your evenings because you're going and spending it with friends. Yeah. So good. You, did, you were great out there. Well, thank you so much. You oh, want me to snag and seat? our our director is right here. Oh, that would be me. This is Michelle Robinson. She's Hello. one of our favorite Thanks. directors Thank around here. Much. She's done several productions with us before, and we're always so lucky to have her. Yes, thank you very much. So tell me, Michelle, after it has already started, it's it's the opening nights in the, the can. Yes, in the can. So yes. How do you feel? Oh, it's it's very exciting to be able to, to do Dracula. I loved the script when I first read it, and I, you know, there's different versions of Dracula, and you know, doing it around Halloween and you know, around the, the fun times, the scary times of the year. Um, I decided I really, really wanted to do this particular script because it was so different than the other ones, because of the fact that this was more about you know relationships and about the characters' relationships with each other, and about you know the, basically the true story of how Dracula gets from. Transylvania to England and how they all and then his relationships with the women and, and the children and everybody else and 
and then his demise. So I really like that. Well, we talked to some of the uh, the people who saw it tonight. They said it was very scary. So, good. That's so you what I achieved hope. that. Yay. That's what I hope for. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Yay. Good. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Oh well, we certainly are very glad that you could do this for us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, so it was more of the Bram Stoke Stoker. Yes. The, it's the Bram. It's based on this particular script is the closest one of all the the Dracula scripts that was based on Bram Stoker's actual book of Dracula. And then uh, the movie version was the one with Gary Oldman and Winona Ryder, and that was, again, it was Bram Stoker's Dracula. So both of these two versions were the closest to what he had actually written back in the, you know, 1800s. So, so that, uh, that's one of the reasons it was so close to what it really was from the beginning. I really like that. So it's what vampires are really supposed to be like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, right. He had some really good ideas about what that was all about and you know when he wrote it, it he scared people because they didn't really think about that or they would never thought about that back in the day and now it's on everybody's you know the front of everybody's mind so it really fit, 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 fit right into everything so great well thanks again you're welcome thank you guys for coming we appreciate it righty uh, let's see well this was just a quick peek at our, our second show here. I uh, hope you can come out and spend some time with us because it's it's I wouldn't want you to miss it. It's it's worth seeing. So anyway, um, thank you, and we will hope to see you here soon. Thank you.